here now in southern Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. And I am at what is known as the Lincoln Way abandoned neighborhood. Lincoln Way is a street that it's on and this is a cul-de-sac. There used to be like 30 or 40 houses here that were abandoned. Some of them fallen down, some of them been torn down, some of them burnt down. Just recently last year, 2015, three houses caught on fire and so those ones fell down too so now there's not very many left. And nobody knows why this neighborhood is abandoned. It's in it's like surrounded by neighborhoods where people live, but this one is completely abandoned. A lot of people just left all of their stuff in their house. Obviously, there's like a bunch of urban legends and whatnot. One of them is that there was a, a beast that was like prowling through here, eating their pets and like scratching on the buildings. It just scared everybody and they left and the people that didn't leave ended up dying of old age and then nobody moved back in. Nobody really knows why it's abandoned. It used to be like a nice part of town. Really weird. I want to show you guys this because this is really, really crazy. Got a painting right there. Here's our first house. It's one of the houses that has been uh, caught on fire recently, unfortunately. We're in the Front door is wide open. We're in the kitchen right now. Let's see what this is like down here. Hello? Oh, this is disgusting. Garbage really dumped. I'm not gonna go down there, it smells bad. Ugh. It smells kinda moldy. We got a briefcase, trophy, papers of all different sorts, some mattresses, Just more papers, windows busted in. Trophy, clothes, insulation, bathroom, bathroom. Ugh. All right, building number two, the fire building. It's raining out today. That building is just completely collapsed in on itself after the fire. There's no way I'm going in there. Way too dangerous. But about over here. Got another smaller building, smaller house. There's another one. Let's check out this one. Got to be careful with these floors. They look all pretty sketchy. Hello? Anybody in here? Mattress. I heard that there were some squatters living in here in some of these houses, so I got to be careful. Kitchen just destroyed. Bathroom. Out into the backyard, which is really just a hill. Hello? It's all their stuff completely left. This looks like it was a bedroom. Furniture, clothing, mattresses, shoes, purses, everything just left. It's one of the craziest things about this place is if people left all their stuff. Why would somebody leave all their stuff in a house? I understand abandoning a house, but I don't understand abandoning all your stuff that's in it. 
This one's pretty busted. Trash, glass everywhere. This looks like it was a duplex. Got a house here, house here. Oh no, they're connected. Maybe it's not a duplex. Furniture. Garbage. Let's check out through this door. This house is kind of empty. Furniture. He's in the basement. bathroom that's just demolished, absolutely destroyed. Hello? No, nope, not going down there. Got a thick layer of water on the floor down there. I don't do water. I don't walk through water. <laughs> Bottles. Glass. Time to check upstairs. He sees everything, but he's also downstairs. Who's downstairs and sees everything? Hello? Help me. This house is pretty much completely empty. Staple hail Satan graffiti. Yeah, upstairs is completely, completely empty. Downstairs, next house. We move further up the street. Let's see, there's another house. That one looks like it got hurt by the fire. That's the previous house that we were looking at. That got demolished by the fire. The roadblock here, road barrier. Easy to step right over. Yeah, this one's completely gone. Careful where you step. The whole thing is completely falling over. I don't know if this one got hit by the fire, I don't see. Oh yeah, it did, definitely. Definitely victim of the fire. It's unfortunate. All right, we got another house over here. This one's really, really overgrown. Starting to rain harder now. Hello? Anybody here? Windows busted in, door completely gone. Walls busted completely through. She got the front room. Forgive me, I sucks. Your eyes suck. There's no ass. That's a heart. My bad. I can't read. So here was the dining room. Dining room table. Cabinets. Cool graffiti. Don't open. Dead inside. Well, it goes straight into the kitchen, silly goose. Kitchen. Totally, totally demolished. Basement looks pretty disastrous. This house is in rough state. Let's see if we can take a stroll upstairs. Careful, some of the floor in here is falling through like that. Look at that. Empty room. Cushions, maybe somebody was standing in there. Empty room, TV. Busted in old TV, that looks kind of cool. Was that house number four? These are all kind of small houses. All right, we got 
it looks like two more houses. This house here is pretty large. Looks like it suffered from the fire right there. Gotta be careful going into this one. Motorcycle glove. This one looks like a duplex. Hello, anybody here? Ooh, this is moldy. This is gross. Let's check this side. Not as moldy. Kitchen, cabinets. Out to the back. Giant spider web. Is that a bathroom or a storage area, maybe? Let's check out upstairs. Empty room. Empty room. Basic mathematics. Oh, look, somebody kicked in the side next door and holy cow they left everything in here look at that clothes furniture beds everything Oh my gosh, giant, giant spider web. Ah, didn't see it at all. Ah, that was annoying. Last house up here. Looks like it got looks like it got hit by the fire pretty hard. I don't know if I'll be able to go in it or not. Let's check this out. Dang, look at this. This is insanely overgrown. Got a chair, some shoes. Holy crap, it's like a freaking forest, man. Dress dress shoes. This is insane. You guys seeing this right now? This thing is in the middle of a forest. I can't go in there. The roof is caving in. I can't go in there. That looks pretty dangerous. Got hit by the fire. And the roof is falling in. But look at that, it's in the middle of the forest. The road keeps going up though. Let's see, oh, we got another house up here. Hello? Let's see if we can get through here. Oh. oh man, everything's so wet. Uh four floors in pretty bad condition in this one. But we got furniture, couches. Oh wow, but look back there, the kitchen's completely fallen through, the roof has collapsed, a bed fell through. I'm not going in this one. The road keeps going up. Let's see what else is up here. Another house, floor falling through, toy horse, another one up here. Dang, there's so many houses. Got front lawn decor here. What else we got up here? It's a cul-de-sac, so it should end here pretty soon. Yeah, here's the end of it. There we go. It's the end. Turn around. Let's go back. Let me check out this house. I didn't go in this one yet. It's in pretty rough state. Whole mattress. 
blankets. Come on, focus. Mattress, blankets. Let's go inside. Careful, hardwood flooring. Ooh, ooh, careful. That's a burn hole right there. At least that's what it looks like. I don't know if I want to risk walking through this one. Got a lot of junk back there. It's just crazy that they left so much stuff. I've looked at all the houses. Quite a few of them I couldn't go in because they're just way too structurally unstable and I don't want to get hurt. It's definitely not worth it. But I'm getting kind of creeped out back there in like the forest. Let me get back to my van. There's the lovely van. Good to be back here. Get inside, get dry. So wet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did not enjoy it, let me know in the comments why. Um, I'm always down for some constructive criticism, but be constructive about it, don't be mean. I'm gonna leave you guys here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll make more of these kind of abandoned adventure videos. But until next time, guys, stay rad.